Earlier, at a press conference at the Farnborough International Airshow, Leonardo Helicopters outlined its plans to secure the UK's new medium helicopter, NMH, program with its AW-149 platform. Adam Clark, Managing Director of Leonardo Helicopters UK, highlighted the company's readiness and unique position as the UK's sole onshore helicopter manufacturer, aiming to leverage this capability to meet domestic and international demand. Our team is working extremely hard on the bid, and we believe that we're in a strong position, Clark stated. For more than five years, we've been laser-focused on the delivery of this platform to the UK Armed Forces, ensuring it will be able to quickly go into service with the operator. The contenders, Airbus, Leonardo, and Lockheed Martin, will receive invitations to negotiate their proposals, with a decision anticipated in 2025. Leonardo offers its AW149, promising UK production, while Lockheed Martin proposes the S-60 Black Hawk, highlighting job creation and export opportunities. The MOD's evaluation includes a 25% consideration of social value and UK industrial capability. According to Global Data's intelligence on the UK defence market, the government is weighing up the domestic manufacturing offer from Leonardo's A149 and Airbus H175 against the lower prices and proven military record of Sikorsky's S70M. Leonardo's A149 military helicopter is the centerpiece of their proposal for the NMH competition. Clark emphasized the economic benefits of choosing a domestically produced platform, including job creation and skill retention within the UK. We will be providing UK-built platforms with substantial design work conducted onshore, securing high-quality jobs and skills, and ensuring long-term social value for the UK taxpayer, Clark explained. In addition to the economic advantages, Leonardo's bid highlights the AW-149's track record. The AW-149 is an established product, already in service globally, and chosen by three different operators over the last five years, two of them NATO nations, said Clark. The platform's ability to quickly integrate into military service is a selling point, especially as aging UK battlefield helicopter fleets are due for replacement. Leonardo has launched a production line for its A149 helicopters in Poland in partnership with PZL Swidnik. Poland has already received two A149 helicopters for its land forces. The UK Ministry of Defence, MOD, is set to select a new medium helicopter to replace its existing fleet, including the Puma, Bell 212, Bell 412, and Dauphin helicopters. The chosen platform is expected to be in service until the mid-2040s. Clark also mentioned that winning the NMH contract could open doors to an export market. With a new UK-manufactured helicopter endorsed by our internationally respected armed forces, we can address a global market for 500 medium-sized military helicopters worth tens of billions of pounds in exports," he noted. While details about the NMH competition requirements remain confidential, Clark reiterated Leonardo's commitment to meeting these needs. Unfortunately, we're not permitted to comment specifically on the ITM and the recliner requirements within. However, we can say that our team is working extremely hard on the bid, and we believe that we're in a strong position," he assured. Leonardo's approach extends beyond the AW149. The company is also developing advancements in uncrewed systems through its Proteus Autonomous Collaborative Program. Our latest testing program is underway with a specially built, 3D printed Proteus model within our wind tunnel," Clark shared.
we're motivated towards the first flight in the next quarter. In the broader context, Leonardo Helicopters UK continues to expand its footprint with international contracts, including recent deals with Japan and South Korea. These contracts further solidify Leonardo's reputation as a global helicopter manufacturing and support player. Summing up, Clark emphasized the importance of their UK operations, as the UK's only onshore helicopter manufacturer, we are poised to deliver platforms domestically and internationally, spanning the crewed and uncrewed sectors, all underpinned by decades of investment into our Yeovil site and our unique skill base in the UK onshore supply chain. The press conference concluded with a Q&A session, emphasizing the high level of interest in Leonardo's future plans. As the NMH competition heats up, all eyes will be on Leonardo helicopters to see if their British-built A149 will become the new backbone of the UK's medium helicopter fleet. No wonder, Leonardo said, that its UK onshore helicopters business has recently been granted official status as the home of British helicopters. Should its A149 win the UK's new medium helicopter contest, the firm will build the platform at Yeovil and has promised that 60-70% to 70 of its content and through life support would be carried out in the country. Investment in skills and research generates valuable UK intellectual property and sustains an onshore industrial base that provides the UK Ministry of Defence with direct access to critical skills and capabilities that underpin operational independence and technological advantage, it said. Clark said that the Leonardo Helicopters UK workforce included 430 design-focused engineers, proficient in the 87 skill sets that were essential to high-value helicopter design work. He said that these skills and facilities could not be established overnight, but rather required decades of cultivation, of investment, in our own people and across our supply chain. If we are successful in this competition, the potential prize for the UK is enormous, Clark said. With a new UK-manufactured helicopter, endorsed by our internationally respected armed forces, we could address a global market for 500 medium-sized military helicopters, worth tens of billions in UK exports.